Anything that you don't know is something that you can still learn. I would like to believe that teaching is a learning process. And so, I don't know if you can all relate to me, but the first time that I was teaching online, there were a lot of questions in mind. First comes first is that I am the kind of teacher who's really who really takes a lot of move in the class. I do my classes in a way that I make sure that my students don't feel bored. That's one thing. No? One thing that I really do in my class. I make sure that they move. I make sure that they don't just stay in one place. One thing is for sure. And so I ask myself, how will I mirror my energy online? You're just gonna sit down. You're just gonna talk in front of your students. And even most of them don't turn on their cameras. You don't know if they are really physically, mentally present in your class. And so this afternoon, I would just like to share a few of the things that I do in my class to make sure that my teaching is effective. And so let's begin. My topic this afternoon is all about structuring discussion exercise that inspires student interaction. And so I divided my discussion this afternoon into three. My motivation, which in how do I start my classes, my discussion part, and of course, my uh, activity no, or the assessment that I give to my students. So I am teaching an uh, art app Purposive Communication and LAPEL, which is Learning Academic and Professional English Language. Okay, so usually what I do in my class in motivating, uh, motivating them, I do give like motivating games or activity leading to the topic. That's what I also do when it was still face-to-face. -face. I would like to believe that even if some of the traditional teaching strategies we have even before, existing even before, there are best practices that are still very applicable up until today, right? I believe you would all agree. But I know for sure there are those practices in the past and very traditional that are not anymore applicable at present. So, I usually have guessing game. Like for example, in one of our uh, lessons in Porcom, wherein we talked about slogans, we talk about taglines of brands and commercials, and then you make your students guess. And then they would know that this afternoon or this morning, our lessons will be all about communication for work purposes. The purpose of communication at work. And so they already have an idea. And they can relate really, right? So, ribisko ang sarap ng feeling mo. Oh, they know, di ba? And one thing that was really funny is that most of the students were able to guess the taglines for Tanduay, na? for beer na beer, for San Miguel, and I don't even know that those were the taglines of those drinks. Now, isn't it funny that most of my students, even those students who are the smartest in the class, no, so noted, good to sila, bantay lang to sila. Next, picture prompt. No, again, these strategies will based upon the kind of topic that you will have in your class. So sometimes, what I do is that I give out pictures and then I let my students say something about the picture. So like for example, in my lapel class, because of course we need to focus on the four macro skills in communication. Namely, I believe we all know it's reading, speaking, listening, and writing. So for speaking, I really give out impromptu speaking activity. So there will be level one, then level two, then level three. So part uh, level two includes, of course, picture prompt. So I show pictures to my student. I give them a minute or a minute and a half to talk about it. And then they will learn. Okay, ah, okay, example. Okay, this would be uh, how to do proper impromptu speaking, no? And of, of course, uh, because we are not just targeting what do they really need to learn in class, we are also targeting that maybe those potential students can be one of our contestants for masks. Eating two birds with one stone, right? No, so it's like that. The third one is this one. I, I don't know if you wish to use this in your class, but we do practices in some of my colleagues in Cal. No, so attendance checking with a twist. Uh, how do we do this? Huh? Yes, thank you, Teacher Janet. No, because I know you use this in your class. So like, for example, 
the topic for the day is what I have mentioned earlier. Now, let's focus on that. Communication for work purposes. So, we talked about slogans. We talked about taglines. We talked about jingles. And so, when I call the names for the students, when we are already doing attendance, I call them by telling them, okay, once I call your name, you have to sing your favorite commercial jingle. Oh, diba? Sumuda o gud si SM. Silingan rabi na to. Diba? Here at SM. O, di ni po magpapil di si Gaisano. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. O, diba? No, so see. And you know what? To be honest with you, I have observed that my students are really looking forward every time we will have the attendance. Because I am doing my discussion in the e-library and I can hear the comments of my students. Nalaka. Unsa na pulgaha ang atong attendance karon? No, so they're looking for. We were we had um discussion on communication in multicultural settings. Oh, and then I will ask them for the attendance. If you are going to live in a country, another country, where would you like to live? Oh, ayon na nang why na ma? Ma MMK lang answer do gay tama wala ng attendance ani. So just simply, no name a country. No, and then you will see, ah, oh, okay, kaya ako mga students engineering, gusto git sila o Japan. No, kaya grabe man ang technology dito and advanced man sila. So, then you would know. No, and then you can really say na, ah, okay. No, so this is justifiable. Okay, so that's what I do in my class. Okay, next, interactive discussion through the art of questioning. Sometimes, it's not about what kind of question you ask. It's about how you ask the question, no? Because whether we like it or not, there are students who don't really like to share. Nga naman, they're scared to share because it might be wrong, no? So that's why I believe we teachers are very flexible that sometimes we tend to change the way we ask so that we will encourage more our students to answer. Let's encourage them that it's all right to say the wrong answer. No, because I mean it's fine. We're trying to find out which is the best answer here. No, we're not trying to see if you know or you don't know. No, so I mean this is also one of the life skills that we are teaching our student that it's all right to be mistaken and it's all right to fail, right? Because along the way you will learn. Ah, okay, mo de tong best answer. Oh, de ba? Next, no sharing of significant experiences and prior knowledge. Of course, this is very important because you would then identify, no, what are the things that your students already know, and what are the things that they still have to learn. No, like us teachers, we don't just simply teach our students to make sure that they learn. We teach, we discuss, we share because we are also learning from our students. Okay, and the third one, questions using wheel of names. So I don't know if you are familiar, but you can just simply search it in Google and type their wheel of names. No, so again, um, you can do this. It's it's like a review. No, like after your discussion, you might want to include in the wheel of names. Important terms in your class, no, as a review to see if your students really listened during the discussion, no, and if they really remembered and it retained, no, those very important terms that you have in class. So, like for example, for work purposes, no, in communication, you can put there in the will of name slogans, no, and then of course you click it. So, magtuyok man to na, oh, then 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 jingle. Okay, what is a jingle, no? Why? Ah, uh, why do you think the jingles are effective? Oh, de ba? Then magwill of names na pud ka og names ay mong student. Oh, makulban sila kinsa ka ang tawagon ani? Yes, it might be um, medyo struggle gyud sa teacher no kay dagan kay kay prepare. But again, it's the sacrifices and the passion that really counts. No, tinuod gyud ni siya nga. Usay makaingon ka ba nga? Hala, uy, uy, ra kay ko sa akong klase. But you know, I tell you, your students can see And identify if you have really given efforts in your class. No, makita man siguro sa evaluation. Kawai kawai sa taas ang evaluation dara. Congratulations. Okay. Next, collaborative assessment. So activities that involve students' social media accounts. Of course, top on the list is TikTok. Dara man tumang students no? Kenahan kisila dara. 
with guided instruction and scoring criteria and guides. So, of course, again, I would like to repeat, no? It depends upon the topic and the lesson that you have because there might be, no? What ka balo? Gusto ka magpasulat of reflection paper? Hala, uy. Naanabaya sa online, no? Na maghimo nag-essay for you. Am I correct? I'm, I think ka balo. Yes. Okay, thank you. Chat GPT. So, dapat familiar taani, no? So, it could be na instead of making your students write no a reflection they can just record themselves diba so create no i mean instead na written pwede siya oral and then they can use a tiktok pwede baka mag embed baka sila og photos or videos or whichever and then you will be surprised how creative creative your students are next activities that will allow students to create personalized or authentic output again no again it's just like connected with the first one that i have mentioned because there are activities wherein we limit our students atong gina limit no na okay mo gagit ni siya ang topic dili mo pwede mag choose no mao ni siya ang dapat short band paper gyud masuko gyud ko kung dili short band paper na grabe na gyud no dapat 12 gyud ang size sa kuan na dili gyud pwede og 13 Wag yun mo nagfollow zero na ni derecho. Very traditional, no? I mean, like for example, we have art appropriation, no? As our performance innovative task in art up. So and then we tell the students because we want it to be personalized and authentic. Therefore, they must only make sure mo ragid ni na sila ang subject sa art appropriation and it's very authentic and original and masak na lang kang hala. Amazing ka yung output sa kung student, no? Then you will be because you did not limit them, no? So that's very important. However, we have to remind our students of the ethics, no? And etiquettes. Kaya wala ka, hmm? Wala ka balong ang ilang gi-include na kaya of course, no? There are outputs of the kids na wala ka balong ang gikuha dito nila sa mga sites na dili dapat nila kuhaon, no? Namely, sad to say. Porn sites, no? So what a kabalo? Ay kanisya labi na kung kita ng teacher kaya dita kabalo ana. So very good if magsharing kita mga teachers ng halat share sa kuan bayan na, no? Kaya like ako dili kaya ko kabalo so nasya ko nga. Ha di ay sa kuan di ay na. So si nagsubmit imong student ug ing anak ng output, no? So again, we have to make sure that we also guide them. To kung unsa ang limit kaya again na magid na di magid na mawala. There's always a limit. And then of course. Grouping using a randomizer. Ngano man, I would like to encourage my students that is an in as much as possible. Dili kayo gina discourage na ko ng sila ang mamili sa ilang grupo. No ngano man, most of the time pag sila mong pabut on, maguban tanan ang maayu. No, so what I do in front of them? No, basa na grouping na activity. Okay, randomizer. Makita ng nila. Place all their names in the randomizer, and then after that, I randomize. Ana lang yun, and then sa atubangan gin nila, and then they take note of their group mates. As easy as that. Kaya again, they will not be able to say na abaya si mam kaya giuban gin sila o, no, de ba? And nakita nila, no, so that's transparency, de ba? So ana lang siya, and yeah, that's how I do it in my class. And I would like to believe that I would like to leave everybody at this quote from Angelo Di Anthony, no, na that. If you always develop a passion for learning, you will never cease to grow. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen.